Hey guys, it's Morgan Ian and I'm back with another video. This time, it's my DIY room decor. And you guys, I'm so excited for you guys to see this video. I work so hard. Like, I love all the DIYs. This is probably one of my favorite videos to film because the outcome of just all the decor that I did is just... on points. And I just hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you're new to my channel, then subscribe for weekly videos because, you know, I like making videos and I like to see people smile. Thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. That is so awesome. Like, this this family keeps on growing and that's so awesome. So, let's get into the video. I think I've had enough. This DIY you're going to need a blank canvas which I got from Michaels for $8, tape which I got for $2 at Walmart, and gold spray paint which I got for $3 at Walmart. I'll be taking the tape and putting long and short strips on the canvas, creating a cool funky pattern. You can pr use a pattern from the internet or come up with your own like me. I'm going to spray paint the whole entire canvas gold. I'm just going to peel off the tape, which should leave nice crisp lines on my canvas, and that's it. This is a really easy DIY, and it's not expensive at all, and it just adds a great touch to your room. For this DIY, I'm going to need fabric, glue gun, black paint, a paintbrush, a pillow, and even some scissors. So first, I'm using the fabric to measure out how the it's going to fit on the pillow. And I got my fabric from Walmart. And now I'm just painting out on my fabric of the design I want. And I got my design from Pinterest. I absolutely love it. Then I'm going to place the other piece of fabric on top of it. Now you will hot glue three of the four sides so then you can flip your pillowcase inside out like I'm doing here right now. I'm just stuffing my pillow into my pillowcase. Now I'm just hot gluing the open end and now you are done with this DIY. I made another pillow using the same technique from the first DIY. <laughs> For this DIY, you will need black and white paint, a wooden plank, tape, a paintbrush, and some scissors too. I'll be taping long strips around the wooden plank and I'm leaving at least one inch between the edge and the tape. Then I'll be dabbing the black paint in between the tape and the edge of the wooden plank and just making sure it's all black and dark and then let it dry and then I will be peeling off the tape so I have nice clean cut edges. Then I'm going to trace around my candle to make a perfect circle for my yin yang sign. I just freehand the word good vibes. You can use stencils if you don't really want to freehand it but I freehanded by. Now I'm just painting in the inside of all the letters with black paint using a paintbrush. Ain't nobody love like you now I'm just painting in the inside of my yin yang sign using black paint and then on the other side I'll be using white paint and that's it you can look up a yin yang side to make sure it's perfect I, that's what I did and it came out really nice you know these Brandy Melville things cost like $30 and I only had to spend like maybe $5, $10 at the most Okay, I tell her bring it back like she loves something. Bring it, bring it back like she loves something. Uh, in the club with the love song. Ever fall in love again? Cause you give me chills every time we. 
DIY, you will need an old frame, and I got mine from Goodwill, white spray paint twine, which I got from Walmart, clothespins, and a hot glue gun, which I also got from Joann's, and then scissors, which I actually don't know where I got those from. But don't forget your Polaroid pictures, and I took pictures, so those are my Polaroid pictures. Get it? <laughs> going to do is just rip out that back piece and take out the pitcher and the glass because you don't need those just throw them in the trash you don't need those just get rid of them not gonna lie but does anybody miss like lizzie mcguire because i definitely do especially listening to this song i definitely do now after you take off all that stuff you are just going to spray paint the frame white you might i actually did two coats of white spray paint to make sure it just was a solid nice white color you're gonna flip over your frame and figure out where you're gonna place your twine on your frame and after that then you just hot glue them so it's all nice and tight and your pictures won't fall and then you just use your clothespins and put your Polaroid pictures up like you want and I had so much fun I thought this was a great way because I didn't know how to display my Polaroid pictures and I have lots so that's the DIY DIY, all you're gonna need is gold spray paint, an owl, which I got for 80 cents at Michael's, and an M or your letter, which only cost me like four dollars. And just spray paint it gold, it's a really easy DIY that adds a great touch to your room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed for weekly videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am something Morgan. Tell you girl what's up and uh what's happening. And I will see you guys in the